Dear brothers and sisters, today is Mother's Day. Mother's Day is not a church holiday, it is a national holiday. However, we embrace this holiday because in motherhood, in parental love, we see how the divine love works. We begin to understand what it does it mean to have unconditional love. This is not my theory. This is not the theory of the theologians, but this is something that it's happening. It's out there. I recently read a book by a brilliant writer, Jennifer Fulweiler. The title of her book is Something Other Than God. Now, this lady used to be an atheist. Her whole life was a life that God had nothing to do in it. She got married. Then she became pregnant and gave birth to her first child. She started thinking about the love that she experienced after giving birth to her baby. First, she thought that this was happening because, because of the, all the hormones that were happening in her body. But then she started to think that there must be something else. There must be something that is called love. And it was through that love that she discovered God. And today, she has given us this book and she is giving lectures everywhere about his beautiful experience of finding God. Therefore, the parental love and the love that a mother could experience for her child is something that is divine. And for that reason, we are celebrating Mother's Day. And we know that becoming a mother is a blessing. But we also know that for some mothers, that is not the case. Their journey has been quite difficult. For some, motherhood was simply an accident, and for others, it was not a possibility. Today, we greet all mothers. We greet those mothers, especially, who are teaching their children that A, there is a God, and B, it ain't you. We greet all the mothers who are instilling in the hearts of their children our Armenian Christian values, because your responsibility is much bigger than my responsibility and the church's responsibility. Today we pray for all the mothers, and especially for those who are suffering, for those who are ill, those who are separated from their children, and for those who are no longer with us. We also remember the Ten Commandments of the Scriptures, the one especially that says, honor your father and your mother. And we commit ourselves to honor our parents, to honor our mothers. May it be that our mothers and ourselves, we do not think the same way. Sometimes they say things which we do not like, but at the end of the day, our mothers are the divine elements in our household. They are a blessing in our lives. May God bless you all. Pari Mayra Ruor Polorit Ortnialulak Habidianus. Amen.